Brett Williams, another experienced striker up there, and recently could prove a threat against Chester today. Brennan Turner does excellently at fullback. The ball's pumped forward. It's Reese Healy. And Reese Healy has scored. The danger man, as pointed out in pre match, has scored. So it's Torquay 1, Chester 0. And it's Reese Healy. Rotor did well initially, the ball punted back down, missed all the defence just around. Reece Healy was onto it like a flash and smashed it past. And again, it's all key fans, is what you can hear in the corner. It's taken quick and it's a great ball in. Oh, and that could have been another goal. It's a header just over. Chester struggling with the ball into the box so far this afternoon. It's a bit of a let off, so it's still 1 0 to Torquay. Still, it's Luke, again, it's Luke Young. He's just walked around Harry White. He's causing Chester so many problems in the middle of the park today. And left back Davis back to Davis, to Young, to Davis. The pressing here, Scott McGinty, the whipped ball in the box, but it's cleared by Andy Halls, and Craig Mann could break for Chester. Mann with plenty of time just inside his own half. Akin Tundi now for Chester. He's doing really well against Gowin. And Lucas Dawson on the right side of midfield. Can he put a good ball in? It's not a terrible ball, but the keeper does collect. Harry White was sniffing around there at the front post. And if they get half a chance, they're going to make it 2 0. And here comes Healy again. Recently, New Young, very good here for Torquay. Chester are sitting back just a little. It's a big pump into the box. Brett Williams is under it, and it's Reese Healy again. But it's a brilliant tackle from James Jones there. He tried to cut him back inside there, Healy, and you think if he got there, it'd been. But Akin Tunde in now for Chester. He's on the right hand side. There's Harry White in the box. He's up against McGinty, who just does enough. He breaks it, Gary Roberts. And Gary Roberts puts it high into the stand. Into Akin Tunde in the forward position with Andy Halls. Clipping the ball into Harry White. It's a great effort, oh, what a save. Harry White with a turn hit of his left foot. Well, that's a great save from Vincent Durrell. Lovely bit of interplay from Chester there. And the keeper really was at full stretch to keep that out. But it breaks down. Final ball from Chester's just not been there today. And there's on the break, it's Brett Williams down the right hand side for Torquay. There's two in the box if Brett Williams can find one. And somehow it's not gone in. Brett Williams did excellently, but that is an excellent tackle. And it was nearly 2 0 to Torquay. One ball down the outside, and Chester were beaten. Obviously, a little bit of trouble there. And he's been robbed. And Torquay could be in again here. It's come in, and it's cleared by Astles. But only as far as the next Torquay play. Oh, it's well wide. And Therese Healy on the right side has been pretty quiet since his goal. The Chester give it away so easily. Good ball in. Oh, it's nearly an own goal from Roe Turner. Firth really had to be sharp then and it was a great save. Oh, but Harry White dwells on it. 
And it's Davis. He's past two. Oh, it's another brilliant save from Firth. Davis passed at least two or three there. A strong hand at his near post. Again. <laughs> Free header is a goal. Luke Young with a corner in, and it's the dangerous remain with a header. That's 2 0 to Torquay United. And he fully expect them to take the three points now this afternoon. After the hard work of Andy Firth with the two previous saves. Again, it's a cross into the box from the corner. And he expects Chester to deal with that better. It's a free header, head into the ground. And that's 2 0 to Torquay. Dawson could be off here. He definitely could be looking, and he's going off. Lucas Dawson has been sent off for a second bookable offence. You have to say that was a stupid challenge as the player had gone past him down the line, 50 yards from goal, and now Chester down to 10 men. And, the... and again, this could be resealing now for number three. He's passed two, and it's a brilliant tackle from Hobson. Oh, it's off the line. Oh, Jordan Archer with his first touch. That would have been some impact then. But we'll find it difficult on the break. And it could be in again here down the right-hand side. Cross comes in. And Jones again with another last-ditch tackle there because that could have been easily 3-0. And it still might be. Luke Young into Healy. Another good save. Oh, <laughs> I think Torquay fans thought that was in the left back, Liam Davis, nearly making it 3 0. <laughs> Full time, Chester 0, Torquay United 2. Goals from Reese Healy and Elliot Romaine. <laughs> 